I know we've talked about it in part before, but why do you think it's not used so much? Like I know you said it's it's low percentage, but I mean, if you become very proficient at it and you practice it all the time, it can be just like any other move, but just another piece of the uh, tool in your toolkit. If you're going for an arm bar, why not grab the wrist lock? It's right there. Yeah, I think that is because for some reason, wrist locks have a bad rap to them. People, I think it's because there's like a big joke around them, like, you know, it's prison rules and stuff like that. And I think that, you know, we talked about it before. I think that jujitsu is getting a little bit soft. Uh, well, I, I do. And uh, I think that's why, like, you know, if you do a wrist lock on someone, you don't hurt them, then what's the issue there? Like, it's just a part of your body that can be submitted. I don't see the big, it's not a big deal. But uh, I think that's why it's a little taboo. And uh, yeah, I think also because it is available less often. But I mean, Joey like ruined someone's wrist in a tournament. <laughs> and I, yeah, I have that footage and we were going to put it in another podcast. And I couldn't find it. But then I recently found it again uh, where it was in my Google Drive. So uh, that was a badass wrist lock. But why do you think, Joey, uh, wrist locks aren't super common? I think people just aren't uh, really comfortable or familiar with like the mechanics of how they work because people don't actually invest the time needed to get good at them um like most submissions it, it really is just time in i mean if you did two three four arm bars ever you would never really understand how the arm bar works or where you can get it from and you know how often it's available and how to make things work when things go wrong and wrist locks really i think the reason a lot of people don't put the time in is because it's not really worth it in the long run um like you said like they are kind of a niche submission they're not always there available and realistically most people have a limited amount of time on the mats and if you can only work one or two submissions is the wrist lock going to be the one that's going to give you the most bang for your buck when it comes to spending your time probably not so people don't spend the time they don't get comfortable with it and then they're not as proficient and you just don't really see them because of that 